Sagittarius, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the for the sign of Sagittarius, wherever that resonates at for you and your birth chart. Keep in mind we do all have a ninth house part of our birth chart and time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates here today and leave the rest for someone else. Tapping into your energy today, Sag, I use this faceted garden oracle deck along with this keepers of the light oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as I am connecting with the collective energy. And this feels like a big message today, Sag, or at least a pivot point. Right, it feels like you're you've reached a point, Sagittarius, where you're really about to shift gears. The first card to come through for you today in the faceted garden oracle is this scarecrow card. And the scarecrow represents it represents the past, really, right? It, it really to me the scarecrow represents everything in our lives that didn't work out the things that ended, the things that went wrong, you know, the guilt, the shame, the sadness. It's like all of the past stuff here. This was the first card coming through for you today, so I knew it was going to be kind of a deep message. But then following the Scarecrow, we got the Lotus, the Cave, and the Star. So it's like this energy of Sagittarius emerging from this energy, from the past, from the darkness, from the shadows, from the cave, right? Um, you know, fully standing in your power, embodying all of the integrated wisdom that you've gained through everything you've been through. There's been deep healing that has taken place for Sagittarius, or there is deep healing taking place right now, and this feels... Almost like as we move into eclipse season, this last clearing as we align to this new chapter on the bottom of the faceted garden today, we have this passage card. And to me, this is just representing your rite of passage. It's like Sagittarius, you've made it. You've made it. You're here, right? And here we are stepping through this portal into this new cycle, into this new age. So I do feel like eclipse season bringing these retrogrades, Aries, you know, this new year, this new start. I feel like it's a lot at once. I feel like everybody's going to be doing healing and clearing uh, in their own way. And I feel like it is ultimately a clearing of all of this past energy. So in the Keepers of the Light, we have Mother Mary, love and peace coming through. It says, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. For some of you, you may be in the midst of healing a mother wound or some type of family or generational thing as we do have the north node and chiron together in the sign of aries right now so this doesn't necessarily have to be with a mother figure this can be healing around the divine feminine as well we have hope this energy of hope love and acceptance it says love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts and then we have archangel michael coming through um, trusting heaven it says you are safe your angels stand close surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur bottom of the keepers of the light we have saint germain here with karma releasing so again this saturnian energy of release and clearing of contracts being fulfilled and completed um, you guys so this again it feels like a very important point in your journey Sagittarius I'm gonna oh yeah and I did actually shuffle these moonology cards and we were left with your energy on the bottom of the deck I wanted to show you that as well we have this new moon in Sag energy here um, luck is on your side so I'm gonna pray real quick Sag and then we will dive into your message feel free to join me we're gonna start with this double major damn Sag Temperance on the bottom. A lot of Sag energy coming through. We have Leo here as well. Temperance though, right? This is the patience as we um, alchemize, as we turn the lead into gold. So let's pray and let's get into this message. Holy 
Holy Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for my sages today for their highest good. Anything Sagittarius needs to hear or know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower Sag, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help Sagittarius align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. And of course, above all of that, any messages that will help Sagittarius align with the highest divine will will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. Um, amen. Ashe. Holy Spirit, what's the message for Sag today? So we're seeing temperance. We're seeing the world. We're seeing death. We're seeing this energy of being in between worlds as we move from one chapter of our story to the next so what is the theme of sag's message today please spirit this beautiful lotus energy sag where not only have you you know made it through the mud but you've transcended in such a big way right what's the theme Spirit says grab one more. I think we have the star though. Yep. High Priestess and the star with the magician on the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy here, your opposite. This is Spirit's way of saying that we have reached the end of um, a road, the end of a lane rather. You're switching lanes and this is um, where attention goes, energy flows. It's all about where you're putting your attention at this time, Sagittarius. And with the star coming out twice, we have this Aquarian energy, this very healing energy, this energy of alignment, this energy of um, manifestations coming to fruition and for you the theme of your reading being high priestess to the star it's almost a message of follow that inner light um, a lot of internal healing with these with this pair with this combo as well a lot of internal healing psychic gifts and abilities telepathy dreams visions meditations um, vision quests shamanic journeying all of these things very potent at this time um, since you are coming through as the high priestess it's like Sagittarius you're seeing right through the veil at this time very beautiful energy you guys very beautiful energy for Sagittarius let's see what comes through in the tarot we're gonna start with your energy see what we have going on and then we'll build out from there something about maybe shining your light as well this lotus card always reminds me of the six of wands you have the star twice maybe some of my sages gaining attention or recognition um it, it does feel like sagittarius you are shining you're glowing right now though so what do we have going on for sag Strength coming out first. Second time we've seen the strength out here. Strength, nine of cups, chariot. Wow, Sagittarius, this is absolutely amazing energy. And we have you coming through as the queen of swords on the bottom. Sagittarius, not taking any shit. Seeing things very clearly at this time. And um, in this almost a bit of a detached energy where it's like you're seeing things as they are. We're not too emotionally attached to our seeing and to our decision making at this time you are having the courage to follow your dreams right now it seems like Sagittarius with the chariot out here going to the nine of cups this is like hold on tight we're we're on our way Sagittarius you mean business right now Sagittarius standing on business I think that's uh, the same energy was coming through for Aries as well as I say that I look down under this passage card and we have Aries peeking out with the ram actually so maybe some of you are dealing with um, a, a personal transformation maybe some of you are dealing with Aries or Aries energy Aries season coming through as very significant collectively right now and that is the energy of let's get it if Aries is significant to you if you are an Aries or you have significant Aries placements um, I would check that reading out if you feel guided to we have the ending of this major major cycle and this turning point for Sagittarius where it's like what's next you guys star again this is the third time 
the stars peeking out here in your message. What is the challenge for Sagittarius right now? What energies are crossing Sag? For some of you, maybe some relationship stuff. It does feel more so past past hurt kind of creeping up being cleared at this time really and this has been a, a collective energy coming through where it's like three of swords four of swords the challenge is we're healing from the past there's a lot of deep stuff arising at this time and being cleared and the real thing that i've been seeing happening for the collective is amidst this massive shift as we are literally kind of jumping timelines here collectively there's a lot of people, places, things, situations, relationships that are not coming with us into this new chapter of our lives. And it's been this and this kind of like bummer energy where it's like, you know, I know and I feel like collective knows that this is this brand new chapter, this portal that we're stepping through. But I also feel like it's it's a little bit bittersweet because there's a lot that we have grown apart from grown away from as we shift frequencies the things that are not aligned with that with our frequency are going to naturally kind of fall off and it feels like that's where collective is at right now um this is a deep healing and it is an opportunity for a literally a new book a new chapter of our lives so I like seeing the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom because we have this Jupiter energy coming through, just expanding the collective right now. So when it comes to your consciousness, when it comes to your gifts and abilities, when it comes to your ability to hold space, we are going to be kind of activated at this time, especially going through Aries season to where we're going to be able to, you're going to notice that your gifts are, are you know, you're, you're, creating a stronger connection with your own gifts and abilities, with your own guides, with your own soul, with your higher self. I like to grab an energy for kind of like the root cause of any conflicting or crossing energies right now. And it really does just feel like anything that was holding you back, Sagittarius, has been uh, illuminated or 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 kind of surfaced so that it could be cleared so it could be understood so that way it can be healed or however it's kind of resonating for you in your own personal energy so let's look at what we have incoming for Sagittarius Kind of almost a nostalgic energy coming through. What's incoming, please, for Sag? So we have the Fool. We have Temperance. We have the Page of Cups. Two of Wands on the bottom, and it's staying there. It's been there the past few times we've shuffled. Um, Two of Wands is all about planting the seeds for the future, right? It's the turning point. It's where we fully change focus from these things that were once, you know, taking up space in our day-to-day -to, -day to what is next, right? Temperance with the Fool, though. You know, Sag, you're, you're, you're truly stepping into your power and moving into this. And it is. It, and I've said this quite a few times through this reading. But when I say it's like a new chapter, or a new book, you guys, the fool's the very first card of the tarot. This is a brand new adventure. So there's major karmic contracts that you incarnated to take care of, to learn from, to clear, to fulfill, to experience have been experienced they have been um learned from the wisdom has been integrated you guys and this is really exciting it, it really is like moving into the next level right this kind of feels like the energy of the final boss battle um and ultimately this is the energy of dreaming bigger sagittarius i'm hearing limitless possibilities here this is an energy of trusting the divine aries energy right it's 
going for it. It's not doing too much overthinking here. You have a lot of fire energy coming through. I'm seeing like these waves of um, creative energy coming through for the Sagittarian Collective, sexual energy, creative energy, um, just energy in general. How you channel it's going to be up to you, right? What else is incoming for Sag? This feels like a well-deserved new start, though. Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, Six of Swords. What is this Knight of Wands spirit? Yeah, there's, I don't know, maybe some type of opportunity coming here to really build something we have the six of wands with the ten of pentacles this is going to look different for everyone because this ten of pentacles is your legacy this six of wands is your victory so what this knight of wands feels like to me is you're taking divinely guided action toward whatever that is for you so opportunities coming in spirit saying not to sell yourself short with this page of cups to me it's like dream bigger um, trust and follow your intuition. This is definitely not the time to give up. You got the temperance with that nine of wands. It's like, keep pushing. You are, you're here. Your blessings are here. Sagittarius, you've made it. What is the advice for Sag? Empress. Nine of pence. Oh my. Magician. Um, Queen of cups out here, you guys. Sag, I, I don't really know what to say. These are two of the most abundant cards of the deck to me, having them together in your advice, um, embodying that abundance. You know, the you lack nothing, Sagittarius. The infinite abundance of the cosmos exists within you. The nine of pentacles is all about your hard work and perseverance paying off. Um, the Queen of Cups, right? Follow your intuition. Continue following your gut, your higher guidance, your visions, your dreams. Um, what makes you happy? What lights you up? Focus on it, Sagittarius. Continue leaving behind everything and anything that is draining you, taking from you, holding you back, holding you down, no longer serving you, whether it's within you or outside external to you. If it's done and the divine has brought that message through for you, then let the dead bury their dead and let's go, right? Tower, it's been the hand of the divine reaching into Sagittarius's reality, clearing things that are not aligned with this next chapter, you guys. This is huge and it is here. Your advice is really to follow your bliss. Your advice really is to be mindful of what your mind is on. Your advice really is to be mindful of what you're putting your energy and focus toward. Is it giving back to you, Sagittarius? Is it bringing peace? Is it bringing fulfillment? Is it bringing blessings, happiness? Is it bringing love into your life, into your reality? We have this beautiful Venusian energy here. This Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups out here, it's like release and you shall receive. The Eight of Cups is the card that comes right before the Nine of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is all about leaving behind what's not serving, leaving behind what what is over and finished, right? This is never an easy decision because we do grow attached, right? But always remember, Sagittarius, nothing is permanent the impermanence of this whole reality and it truly is magical you guys it's brought you to where you're at and there is limitless possibility here to create and i'm just seeing whatever sagittarius creates making this causing this ripple that's going to reach far and wide ten of wands put down what you're carrying family don't let indecision block you Focus on the positive, not the negative at this time. Try not to let the past suck you in, okay? Let's grab, I'm feeling one of these Moonology cards and then we'll get into the Oracle cards. What's the message for Sag? Because I feel like North-South Node energy coming through here. The answers you need are coming. Bring love into the situation. Adjustments are required. Eclipse, expect powerful change. Some of you guys are moving into a new um, cycle 
or dynamic within relationships, whether this is an existing relationship or a new relationship, it's like this new dynamic is beginning. You're stepping into something completely new, something foreign to you, something different. Um, so maybe that has something to do with your expectations as well. Connecting with the divine, though, it says the answers you need are coming. Bottom of the deck, we have a fiery climax approaches with that ram energy, with that Aries energy. So let's grab one of these shamans. Dream oracle messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this feels like one of the biggest messages I've channeled for you in, in, a, in a grip. Not that it, it's just different. This energy is different. It's like now is the time. This is it. This is just kind of almost like what counts is kind of how it feels. I hope that makes sense to you. And, and maybe you can drop it in the comments below how it's kind of manifesting for you. But, you know, you've made it through the rite of passage. This is that clearing green Tara spirit has your back. And this is a truly magical time. For the collective right now what is the message for sag please spirit <sighs> yo this message this energy has been very prominent as well through the collective with the eye of the needle here all right and i'm just gonna kind of briefly explain this you have and i'm sure some of you have threaded needles before trying to get that string through that tiny eyelet through that hole right it's not easy you really have to like everything that is not in perfect alignment with that main string has got to go you've got to remove it or else it won't make it through that's kind of the energy here where it's like you're focusing on the end game here. Anything that is not in alignment with that has to go right now. And as soon as you make it through this portal, it's like this whole new world opens up. I believe this was in Leo's reading, and I think I even named it like threading the needle. If you feel like guided to listen to this, check that reading out, scroll to the end of it. And you guys know how we do at the end of the readings with the... Um, with the oracle cards so we have empty well time to replenish we have wood wives adaptability and we have stars in the sky and um, uh, limitless possibility which is what we're going to read because your advice is empress nine of pentacles to the magician ten of pentacles out here as well you guys this is huge this is literally limitless possibility and that dream bigger energy with that page of cubs sagittarius y'all y'all really are about to put something beautiful in the works or, or you have this huge energy coming for you almost feels like it's been a build up Horned cactus resourcefulness. When you look up into the velvety dark blanket, and you know what, really quick, getting ahead of myself, feel free to pause the video and soak this energy in. Take this energy in, Sagittarius, and drop it in the comments below what downloads you get while connecting with this energy. Limitless possibility. What do you see, sense, hear, feel, visions, downloads, psychically, emotionally? What does this card say to you? It's always dope to see things through your lens, to hear what y'all have to say about these. So when you look up into the velvety dark blanket of the night sky covering the vast expanse of space, can you count all of the stars twinkling above? Can you imagine that you're only glimpsing a teeny sliver of what's actually there? This is the domain of limitless possibility, of the never-ending sea of potential that you yourself are made of and have now at your disposal. Your life right now is alive with possibility and needs your clear focus to home in on what avenue of exploration most calls to you. It's time to choose and not be distracted by the sheer magnitude of what may be. Be here now. Gather your thoughts and your most cherished dreams. Focus on the brightest star in your never-ending sky and take 
small steps, small movements toward calling this glittering potential into reality. If you can imagine this and hold that vision, you will summon all of the celestial helpers and guides to aid you in bringing it into fruition. Keep your focus on the essence of potential rather than the form of it. The universe has its own ideas of how to best serve you and all of us at the same time. Trust this as a fact rather than a theory, and you ought not act surprised when your dreams come true, for they surely will exactly how you need them to. Sheesh, Sagittarius. Let me clear these energies real quick. We're going to grab one of these white light oracle. Where are we at on time? Bet. Bet, bet. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that as well. We have this in the hand. The universe is your partner. Sag, this is huge. The, the divine truly has your back so hard right now. And then I was seeing that with this Knight of Wands. If you notice all of these salamanders on the Knight's tunic, the salamanders represent protection from the fire, right? You can look at it as like, depictions of your angels all over you like the divine has you so hard right now sagittarius you are protected and guided if you're being guided to do something to say something to start something to spark something whatever this action or this is follow your intuition and know your worth you are worth whatever you know there ten of pentacles you guys the world is yours, Sagittarius. The world is yours. And if you hold that vision, you will most certainly be standing in victory. Sky dancers, surrender to the divine. Okay. Okay, spirit. From this white light oracle, what is the message for our sages? This is an Elena Fairchild deck, the white light oracle guidebook, oracle deck and guidebook. Holy Spirit, what is the message for the Sagittarian Collective? Sovereign Queen Maeve, number 40. And Ein Sof. A lot of um, similar energies coming through in the fire sign readings, and I do believe Ein Sof came through in Leo's reading as well, so this seems to be very cohesive um, for those of you that have Leo in your chart um, or feel guided to watch that reading. I would definitely recommend that. Let's see, number 40. Okay, value what is sacred to you by protecting it from interference, even that which may be well-intentioned. Be compassionate but set firm boundaries. You are going to triumph over a negative situation, six of wands. It will take courage. Man, that's crazy. It'll take courage, but you have more than enough inner strength, resourcefulness, and boldness to accomplish what it is you wish to attain. Do not give up. You have the ability to connect with higher worlds, so open your heart and mind to the light. At the portal between everyday reality and the rapture of unchecked aliveness stands Sovereign Queen Maeve. She's an initiatrix, taking us beyond the constraints of polite moralism and into the bliss, sacred passion, grit, and astuteness. Sorry about that. Taking us beyond the constraints of the polite moralism and into the bliss, sacred passion, grit, and astuteness needed to cultivate and protect the light. Goddess warrior, queen of the fae, and fearless guardian and protector of territory, Maeve is wild and determined. She stimulates confidence, encouraging one not to shy away, but rather to assertively engage with life and claim your true place in the world. 
She encourages us to refuse to allow our sacred territory to be intruded upon by unworthy rulers, whether they be critical voices in our own mind or ego-driven interlopers. Maeve is the instinct to engage when challenged, to call on recruits to use all at to call on recruits and to use all of the inner wisdom and talent at your disposal so you can assert the light and refuse to be put down or denied your rightful place. Protecting territory from a spiritual perspective is unlike the grasping and self-serving of the ego that wishes to attain whatever um, for its, it can for its own benefit. The world needs souls who are willing and able to hold sacred space and refuse to allow it to become contaminated by greed, jealousy, hate, or confusion. This is an act of courage and selflessness. Such an act of courage serves all beings. To be a son or daughter of Maeve requires some spiritual chops. It takes feisty refusal to be dominated or controlled. It also takes the wisdom to recognize that one can lovingly accept all that is without judgment whilst discerning when and how to set a firm boundary, lest sacred space be trampled upon and defiled by ignorance. Rapture is a pathway out of control and into the sacred and consciously chosen abandonment into something greater than the self. When the ocean into which we plunge ourselves is that of the spirit, then our ecstasy becomes a revitalizing, frequency-raising, soul-empowering experience which manifests pathways to victory where, in a lower state of awareness, there appeared to be no hope. If we honor our need for communion with the sacred realms, we will give ourselves the time and space we need to integrate relevant practices into our lives. Committing to spiritual practice requires the self-possession to know what matters to you, irrespective of whether another or society in general can recognize the wisdom in your values. Sovereignty is self-possession. It is belonging to oneself that happens internally as we claim our being and commit to our own unique life journey. True spiritual sovereignty exists outside of social mores. It's not about becoming subversive or disrespectful to others, but rather about seeking out freedom of being. This leads to you naturally becoming an active presence which dismantles enslaving social mores and stimulates society to mature spiritually. This oracle asks you to come home to yourself again and again. Know that you're strong enough to live your life and chart your course in communion with the sacred. In Sanskrit, Svaraj, Svaraj is self-rule and as the meaning of Raj is also radiance, it can also mean self-luminous. Do not allow your destiny to rest in the hands of others. Recognize that the life within is your true ruler. You have the power to light yourself up with spirit. Commit to what you can do and believe the realms of the divine are working with you. Do not be dissuaded. You shall be victorious. Yo, what a gnarly message today. Sagittarius, do not be dissuaded. You will be victorious. Let's run through this healing process really quick. It says, if you resonate with the term inner queen, then use this as guided below. If you prefer the term inner king or some other term to express the spiritual sovereign or divine inner ruler feel free to use that instead substituting as necessary in the text below place a hand over your heart and when you're ready state the following declaration of divine independence and spiritual sovereignty i choose of my own free will to respect and serve the spiritually sovereign inner queen or king who resides within my heart through merciful compassion and empowering wisdom, I ask for divine assistance that is of ultimate spiritual benefit to all beings to assist me in releasing false allegiances, breaking the bonds of impoverished servitude, and connecting to the strength, dignity, grace, and boldness of the sacred fire and spirit within me. May I love with courage. May I live with confidence. May I have the wisdom to abide in authenticity and determination. May all beings benefit spiritually through my light in this world and beyond so be it so it is since the inner dignity of your true nature let everything else fall away and you have completed this healing process what a message today Sagittarius we're gonna grab one last message from the divine mother from this pocket-sized kali oracle before we tap out but this is the message i hope it helped today i hope you're able to take something 
um, from this message with you on your journey. For the sages that align with this energy, I just want to say congratulations, family. It really, really is that time. Um, hard work pays off. Perseverance pays off. Um, and this is beautiful to see the collective rising and uh, transcending and ascending, right? Divine Mother, what's the message for Sagittarius today? Nitya Kali, through journeying within, you'll gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been, right? There we are with that scarecrow. Through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. Allow that which needs to end to do so, and you shall realize that you're not being denied but released. There's something new on the horizon for you, so honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. And then we also have Kali Kalmasa Nasimi. It is time to free yourself from what has been. Learn from it, but do not allow it to define you or direct the course of your life. Give up your stories about the past. You've outgrown them. Kali consumes mistakes, sins, and negativities. Let her free you now so you can be open to the gift of your life unfolding. And then this blue Tara really wanted to be seen as well. I kept seeing it as I was shuffling. And then there it is on the bottom. It says chaos will give way to the higher order of love. Let there be peace in your heart. As blue Tara looks to her right, gazing toward the future, she sees a vision of your peaceful, protected, and authentically expressive future. You have every right to feel hopeful, happy, and secure in the destiny that is now unfolding for you. Sag, gang, gang, let's freaking go once again i hope this message helped before we tap out fully y'all know what time it is we're going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath we're going to use our imagination our will our intention to draw from the air we're going to draw in this divine cosmic energy this prana as we breathe in, we're going to pull that out of the air into our body, into our aura, breathing in as deeply as we can. And then we're going to pause, hold the breath at the top and imagine ourselves glowing brighter and brighter and brighter. As we release, we're going to exhale forcefully like we're filling up one of them little water balloons. I don't know if you've ever tried that. We're going to watch any negativity, any doubt, any anxiety, any anxiety, any fear. Any hatred, any anger, any jealousy, any um, resentment, any lower frequencies or blockages, period. We're going to watch all of that in the form of black or gray smoke or static, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this light, into this space, into this love. So first things first, Sagittarius, we're going to take a deep breath out. We're going to completely empty and clear our lungs, and then we'll get this breath in and glow about our day. Go ahead and breathe out. Now breathe in. Hold it, squeeze, move a bundle, lift that energy up your spine. Now pull it down, lock it into your heart space. Go brighter and brighter and brighter. And. Release, Sag gang. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hope this message found everybody well and blessed, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Catch your beautiful beings on the next reading.